Ollie, you're a cat. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Um, it's pretty surreal. Um, this is the first time I've really worn cat's gear, and yeah, it was pretty pretty cool when I saw myself um, with the emblem on. And yeah, it's different, but it's cool. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, I was just just chatting to, to Tanner there. He's, he's, you know, coming back, new town. His parents are living locally, and, and seeing all the guys again who played in the family. Yeah. So, it's a really tight knit little group you've got all coming back home and playing together again. Yeah, um, it's pretty special. Me and Tanner um, being able to you know play together um, again, and we've played you know a fair few games together growing up, and you know it's pretty cool to be back together. And obviously having Jack here as well, and yeah. how does it feel to be a part of a club where you, I'm, I'm sure you feel sort of closer to home? Yeah, it's um, it's cool. It's it's special. Um, you know, this is a team that. I grew up just loving and um, you know now that I have a chance to um, wear the hoops with you know respect and the way I idolised it growing up, it's something really special to me. What's your number one aim through the pre-season and getting ready for round one? Um, just learning, um, learning a lot off the, all the um, new players I get to play with now um, and also you know get to know the game plan, um, I'm sure it's a lot different to Collingwood's and that's something that I'm going to have to really strive to learn and um, yeah other than that I'll just really put the head down and um, yeah just enjoy um, new teammates company and get to know people. We've seen glimpses of, of your potential you played some really good footy over the first couple of years what are you hoping to improve on? Oh there's a lot a lot for me to improve on um, that's no doubt but um, you know, there's you know strengths as well that you can conti um, continually try to um, grow in, and um, you know I'll try to work on you know consistency and just the mentality of keeping yourself in a football game when things don't go your way. Um, you know, it could be the scoreboard pressure, or that's the kind of stuff that you know for me I've pr uh, struggled with. Um, I you know would get your head out of the game and you see some players like myself, you know, could go missing um, in times like that. But then, yeah, I think that's just something I need to work on and I'll continually try to work on it by, you know, putting in some hard work. Which forwards are you, are you hoping to, to work with and, and learn off? You've got some really experienced and quality players in that forward. Yeah, there are. There um, are a bunch of talent um, in that forward 50 and um, you know you got Tom Hawkins who's so crafty um, good what he does and you also got Jeremy Cameron who's a star um, so there's a lot of stuff that you know I'll try to pick up and learn off them and yeah it'll be exciting. How hard are you going to have to work to, to get yourself a spot for round one? Yeah like definitely yeah, going to have to work super hard um, it's a great team and um, it's going to be super hard to Play in, and um, you know that's something that you know, I'll try to do, and I'll work, I'll work for it, and try to earn it. Um, and yeah, I guess that's something that I'm going to have to do. Seeing the success that the team had last year, how can that make you to hope that you can get back to that stage again? Yeah, oh, it would be it would be unreal to do it again. Um, just watching the grand final um, in the stands, you know, I was so happy for them, and you know my brother's in there, but. I also wanted to be out there, so that's something um, you, know, you can't think about it now. But you know, you got to put the steps in place to put the work in, and hopefully um, that can proceed to something great. It was almost the perfect performance on Grand Final day from the team. Do what there's an improvement you can add to that potentially. Yeah, I mean, it's they did so well, and I'm not coming here to try to fix anything or. Um, make anything better. I'm, I'm trying to come here and learn um, and grow and develop from a lot of these great players and if there's something I can bring to this team I'm more than happy to bring it and um, I'll do my best to do it. What's the build-up been like for you getting to here today? Like how many players do you know? Do you touch your base with anyone doing extra training on the side or what's it been like to make sure you're ready to go for day one? Yeah, I, I've got to know um, a lot of the staff, the gym staff here, um, done some sessions with them and you know the boys here are great, they work hard and um, yeah I've got in a few extra sessions with you know some of the lads in here, Tanner himself, um, you know just living down the road it's quite easy for us to um, say hey mate do you want to um, go do some gym or do you want to go for a swim or something, just that kind of stuff um, 
uh, just, yeah, we've been putting in some work together and getting to know each other at the same time. So, just with your living situation, have you moved down to Geelong or with your parents or anything like that with Jack? Uh, yeah, so I've moved my, um, moved my stuff back down officially now. Um, and yeah, I'm right now just with parents, but I'll move in um, to my own place uh, next year. So um, in the meantime, I think over Christmas I'll be with Jack because um, the family's going overseas for Christmas and me and Jack are going to stay and do some training together and live together. Um, so it'll be pretty fun and exciting um, and looking forward to it. But how far away from the ground you are? Uh, right now, probably 800 metres. Good being that close to work. Yeah, it's great. Um, it's a it's a great town here, and um, there's a lot of cafes and stuff to stop by on the way here. And um, yeah, it's it's been awesome. Good luck to the present. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Take care.